Hello YouTube and welcome back to Model Restorations. This is where we take old cars, old model cars that, you know, we've all built as kids. Maybe blue bo glue bombs or painted with a brush or who knows. And we restore them and bring them back to life. So in this episode I wanted to go over a few just different cars that were um, pretty much given up for dead. Um, except for one of them. But... Uh, case in point, this is 55 Chevy. Um, unfortunately, I started this channel after I did this one. So, um, this one's not actually complete yet. I still need a drive shaft. Um, a few other minor little pieces. Looks like the exhaust isn't on there yet. Um, this one came in a box. And I have the original box still. But it was missing a lot of parts. Um, pretty much it was just the body, the base... Um, the motor is actually from a whole different model. Um, I left the, you can kind of see the, oh, pieces are falling off of it there. Um, you can see the, the old string that they used to use for the, um, spark plug wires. Um, I decided to leave those on there, uh, just cause I thought it was cool to kind of, you know, bring back that nostalgic look that, um, that's just what they did back in the, you know, probably the 70s and maybe even earlier than that um, to put plug wires on. So <clears throat> they would use their mother's string. So so I dropped this motor in here. It's, it's a 454 Chevy big block. Um, obviously added a blower to it. Um, it's a little fake just because I did add two. I wanted this to really just sit high. And unfortunately on this model, it sits really low in the... The motor sits really low in the chassis, so in order to get it higher, I actually added two, almost like two blowers on it. Um, of course, that's not really realistic, but, you know, it looks cool. Um, so again, this one, um, we uh, it actually came pre-painted. Um, I am going to have to, I am going to go back and redo some of this chrome on here. Um so the interior i did up in it was actually all black i did it in a almost like a another i don't know if you can see that very well oh well let's take a look <laughs> um i actually did this one for a um a competition we had online for uh breast cancer awareness this one um actually wasn't too bad because it was painted pretty good already um the interior i had to touch up the interior um it was all kind of a flat black i added some color to it um i actually dedicated this to my wife's uh, mothers who have passed away from cancer and i was pretty happy with the way this one turned out let's take a look at the motor it's actually very detailed. So this was pretty basic when I got it. Um, none of the wires were in there. None of the hoses. Um, I stripped it all down. Painted it all pink. And then of course I started adding things back. Um, yeah, I was really happy with the way this turned out. Again, this was another one that was just kind of in the box. It was rolling around. Had, hadn't really been touched in quite a while, long time. So um, here was the original color. It was kind of a metallic blue, which wasn't bad. I just didn't, um, for the competition, we needed a pink car. So, And then this is actually one of my favorites so far. Um, this is a Pontiac GTO, and I added the striping along the side. That's actually from a uh, Dodge Charger, Challenger, sorry. Um, but I thought, it, I thought it looked pretty good. Um, here on Model Restorations, I definitely am not against taking things from other, other models, other makes, and adding them to different other other cars just to kind of bring them back alive again um 
because that's the th kind of the most important thing I'm looking for is to bring these back alive, display them, have fun with them, look at them, and kind of bring these models back. Um, kind of reminds me of my childhood when I was building models. So let's take a look at the motor on this one. So this is pretty basic on this one. I really didn't, besides cleaning the motor up and um, kind of just painting it, I really didn't do a lot to the motor yet. Um, I will add some plug wires later, or, you know, maybe not. Hard to say. All depends on what I feel like doing with this one. I'm not sure I'm quite done with this one yet. Um, this is actually the original body as it came in the kit. This has not been painted. Um... I did try to wax it with some um, floor polish, um, but it actually kind of left, I did not use Future. So it kind of left a um, kind of a haze on it. So I will be going back on that one and kind of buffing it out and getting rid of some of this hate. You can kind of see it in the, in the light here. It's just so, and it, it just kind of goes to, you know, I was just trying something new. Um, I actually used this right here, which is, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's Libman polish, um, hardwood floor polish. Don't bother. It doesn't work. It actually turned out horrible. So anyway, so that is that. Um, until next time, I will see you again. Um, I'm always searching for kits, always trying to restore kits, bring them back to life. Have fun with them. And until then, I will see you the next time. Thank you.